friends, it's Julie. Welcome to your Cardio Blast workout. Today, we are just gonna get sweaty, we are gonna have fun, we don't need any equipment. We're gonna work for 30 seconds and rest for 15 seconds for each exercise. We have a couple of rounds with two exercises per round. We're gonna go through them three times and then we're gonna move on. We have a little tiny core at the end. Are you ready to do this? No equipment, this is gonna be fun. Of course, I will give you modifications for every exercise. So don't worry if you're a beginner or if you've got physical limitations that keep you from jumping or anything, I got you covered. I'll give you modifications. Are you ready? Let's get warm. Nice big shoulder rolls. I don't know about you guys, but my arms are sore from yesterday's workout. So if you joined me yesterday, you know what that might feel like, right? Sore arms. And roll to the front. So even these shoulder rolls, I'm like, oh, I can feel that. Doesn't that feel so good? All right, open and close those arms in front. Switch which arm crosses. So we cross one arm, then the next time cross the other arm. Just to mix it up a little variety. Getting both arms warm. See, my chest right there is so sore in this. Woo. All right, let's go into some trunk rotations. Oh, if you have one morning where you get up and you like move and you're like, oh wow, I feel every muscle. Yeah. That's where I'm at today. I can feel every muscle. So it's a good thing it's cardio and not weights. Awesome. Okay, we are going to hinge forward and lean back. So feet hip distance apart, slight bend in the knees. Here we go, flat back. Let's get the hamstrings. And then push those hips forward. Flat back. Push those hips forward. Push those hips forward. And back to the top, we're gonna go for a little leg kick. So kick one leg to the front, step back, let's kick the other. Now I like to put my hand out there to give my leg something to shoot for, but the height of the leg doesn't really matter. We are just trying to open up those legs, and get a little hamstring stretch here. So, doesn't matter how high you kick, just move your legs. <laughs> That's the goal, move your legs. Okay, let's take that into some hip circles. So up and around, other leg, up and around. Let's just get some mobility going in those hips. We're gonna be changing directions, working on agility. So we wanna get these legs ready. Awesome, okay, I want you to take a big reach up. Big reach, stretch out your body, stretch the sides. Flat back, swan dive it down all the way to the floor. You have a slight bend in your knees and then step back with one leg. Let's get into that deep stretch. And just kind of adjust until you get to a point where you're not working for flexibility, but you just want to get those legs ready. Both we'll legs straight. Ooh, my front hamstring, a little tight. How about yours? And go ahead and reach that front arm up towards the sky, open up the chest as much as you can. Come back down, walk into the middle, and to the other side, down to that lunge. Just press through that hip, both legs straight. You wanna think of chest towards your thigh, not your head. Reach that front arm up, oh, as tall as you can. Stretch, 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 reach to the side. Come back down and come back to the middle and roll it up. Let's jog it out. Just a little bitty jog. Kind of just transfer your weight from one foot to the other or you just a little march. Let's get a heart rate up a little bit. So we're gonna work for 30 seconds at a time for these cardio drills. We'll have a 15 second rest. We'll repeat three times and we'll move on. So I need you to give me everything you've got for 30 seconds. Then you get to rest, get a sip of water if you need it. And then I need you to give me everything you got again for 30 seconds. So, we've got a lot of agility going on, a lot of mobility. We've got a lot of just cardio, sweaty fun. But I do want you to be light on your feet. Okay, so goal is light on your feet. Think of being springy, right? So we don't want to ever slam our feet into the floor. We want to stay on the balls of our feet. Even if you're doing low impact, light on your feet. But I want you to give me your full intensity. Even if you're not jumping, even if you're not going to high impact, full intensity. Are 
whatever you want, shake it up. Let's do it. Let me give you your first round. So two exercises. This first one is a skater, but typically when we do a skater, I have you touch behind. This time I want you to try to hold a balance. Ah, keep the foot up. So we get a little balance work here. So you're gonna go side to side and that back foot stays up if you can. If you need to touch down on the floor, that's okay. Modification is to step. Just take out the jump, okay? There'll be a modification window that will show up for you. Second exercise is a front hop with a jack. So you're gonna do a little monster hop, jack your feet, monster hop back to the front, jack your feet to the back. You can also come to the front, jack your feet, come to the back. Come to the front, jack your feet, come to the back. Yeah? Okay, that's our first round. 30 seconds at a time, 15 second rest. Pace yourself. I want you to still be able to talk a little bit. Don't work so hard that you're gasping for breath, okay? So, work within that zone two to zone three range. So your heart rate's like 65 to 75% of your max. But not so high that you're like, oh, I can't talk, that's too much, okay? But I also don't want you to be like, oh yeah, I can just be having a full on conversation and I'm not sweating or really hard at all. Maybe somewhere in between, okay. Are you ready for this? Yes. So skaters, think about that balance, slight bend in the knees, whether you're hopping or not. Core is in the entire time, shoulders are down. Got a nice good posture, here we go. Skate it out. So I want you to try to keep that back foot up so that we have to work on our balance. So we're going from one foot to one foot. Let's make our body work. Let's make that balance work, which really means you gotta engage that core. Core is really important for your balance. And I just like to swing my arm across. But you can do whatever you want here. And rest. Okay, you've got 15 seconds. We'll do the big hop with the jack. Take a deep breath. 30 seconds of work, not too bad, right? Not too bad, we can do this. That's why we can go all out. Are you ready? Here we go. Big jump and jack. Jump it back. Big jump and jack. Jump it back. Woo, let the cards burn. So land in a bend, go to your jack, come back to a bend or a little squat so that we protect our knees. Ooh, I almost didn't get to go jump forward. I was just gonna jump in place. That's not right. And rest. Help the knees, yeah? Okay, we're gonna go back to the top, do the skaters. And remember, you can do this without jumping at any time. In three, two, one, let's go. You are a speed skater, so you want to stay a little low. You want to use your legs. Now, could you still talk to me just a little bit? It's okay to be breathless. As long as you can still give me some words. Woo, five more seconds. seconds we're going back to the tops or you can step forward back catch your breath you have five seconds are you ready here we go hop it up and jack hop it back hop it up and jack hop it back or march it up and jack march it back and switch feet march it up and jack and back, yeah? The jump back thing is much harder than the jump rope. Rest. One more time through that round. And we're moving on. Catch your breath. So see, you can tell I'm kind of out of breath. And yeah, my heart rate's getting up there. So I'm about in my zone too. Okay, ready? Let's skate. Last time. Now I'm working towards going into my zone three. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Working hard. What about you? Helps if you 
add your arms. That will also increase your heart rate. Almost there. Rest. One more time with those big jumps. And I'll move on. Take a deep breath. Now make sure also when you land, you land on the ball of your foot and then you your heel, okay? Not totally flat-footed and not heel first. Here we go. So we want ball of the foot and kiss the heel. And when I say kiss the heel, I mean the heel rolls down. You don't want it to slam down. Because actually people tend to think of their heel as their shock absorber in their foot. Not true. It's your arches. That's your shock absorber. So we want to land on the fore part of our foot where the ball of our foot is. Rest. Okay, now I'm ready to hydrate. Woo. Okay. Next round. Catch your breath. We have a side plate with a front kick. So you're going to Lead to the side, kick that foot. So the foot that you step out with, with the opposite foot is in the kick. I said that completely wrong. Okay, inside leg is the kicking leg. <laughs> that makes more sense. Side lead, kick to the front, or step touch, kick to the front. Second exercise is a shuffle and a side kick. So you're going to shuffle, transfer your weight, kick to the side, leading to the heel. Shuffle, kick, or step touch, kick, step touch, kick. Okay, those are your two options. When you do those kicks, really engage that core, get a little core work there. Okay, deep breath, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Get to one side of your mat, here we go. Side lead, kick to the front. Now stay low in that lead. I want you to have bent knees. Let's protect our legs. When you kick, engage that core. Shoot it up with your heel. And you're going to close the door. Now, you can also step touch, kick, step touch, kick, okay? Rest, take a breath, take a breath. And if you don't have a lot of space, little shuffles, little tiny movement with your feet, it's that kick. I don't have a lot of space, so little shuffles. Okay, we're gonna go back to that side lead, the front kick. Ready? Here we go. I'm already messing up. Oh, goodness. Brain get jumbled. Sometimes mine does. Oh. But let me tell you something. Fun fact. As we get older, you know, brain power changes a little bit. Exercise helps though. Now, it's not making me perfect. I still forget things. But it does help your brain health as we age. And when we've got to put these moves together like this, right? Our minds gotta be thinking about it, coordinating this. Rest. Okay. This time we're gonna shuffle, kick on the inside. Take a deep breath. Okay, get in position. We're gonna shuffle, kick. Are you ready? Here we go. Shuffle, kick.
almost there. Rest. Okay, that first time, I'm pretty sure I did it wrong. I was kicking to the outside. I did it wrong. I could start over and refilm all this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Give me some grace that I messed up. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? One more time with these side boots. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? We go with three, two, one. Side knee, kick to the front. Side knee, kick it to the front. Actually, friends, I have started over workouts before because I messed up and like stumbled over my words. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna refill that. But this time, oh, we're just gonna know that I messed up with that exercise. We still moved. I'm gonna call it blunder on my part. And thank you for sticking with me. Rest. Oh, this is real life. And you know what? When I used to teach live, it happened to me. It happened to me that I messed up. So there you go. You're getting an example of my life. Friends. Are you ready? Here we go. Shuffle.
jiggly, make these jiggly. Toes in the past, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter with jiggles. We all got the jiggles. It's okay. You know what I like to think of? Whatever's jiggly right now, that's where I'm burning the fat. Probably not true, but it doesn't matter, so I tell myself to feel good. Rest. So all the little areas in your legs that you feel like you're doing, it's just fat bleeding. It's just fat bleeding. Okay. Let's go back to the heel flips. My heart looks pretty high. What about you? Getting into that zone three? Okay. Here we go. Heel flip. Lift up. Full flip. Lift up. I'm going show you from the side. So. Come down, calf raise. Calf raise, yeah? You're a rocket. That's what you are. Rocket, right here. Rest. One more time. You're done with that round. One more time, last round. Take a deep breath. It's okay. All right, in five seconds, go back to the fast feet. Are you ready? Here we go, fast feet, hold. Just let your tummy hang. 
and you're not pulling and engaging that core, you're not getting the movement of what you could get out of movement and more stress in the lower back. That core engagement will help protect the lower back. Okay, by the way, lower back, part of the core. So, oh wow, I'm just sweating like it's here. Yeah, that's, okay. So, 30 seconds, 15 second rest. So same pattern, yeah? Okay, let's get a deep breath. Oh, we're on our side first. <laughs> I was gonna go straight to the planks. On your side, we're all stacked, right? We're ready. Um, just look at my watch. Here we go. Dip, come up. Dip, come up. Really think of pulling up through that waist there. So you allow the hips to touch and then you push them back up. You really push through the waist. seconds and rest let's flip it around to the other side I'm gonna do the modification on this side too because I want to be even I want to be even it's important okay are you ready here we go And rest. Oh, 
One more time through. One more time. Okay, back to the sides. One more time, you guys. Dig deep for me here. You got this. Are you ready? Here we go. Dip it and lift. And you don't feel like you have to race through it. Take your time in that dip. Take your time lifting up. But don't sit here like this. Okay. That's taking too much time. Rest. Other side. Okay. Ooh, I think I need to sweep my mat. There's like all sorts of bugs and stuff on my legs. Are you ready? Here we go. Last time with these side planks. Only I would get distracted by fuzz showing up on my leggings while I'm doing the workout. <laughs> Not important, but something I noticed right away. Five seconds. Rest. Okay. One more time with the planks. One more time. We can do this. We are so strong. All right. Are you ready? Here we go, last time, last 30 seconds. Twist in your spine. And come up. Let's do the other side. Thread it through. Oh, I am dripping sweat all over this poor mat. Come back up. Okay, put both of your hands down on the floor. Tuck your toes under. We're going to push back into a down dog. Now, you want to try to push your heels as close to the floor as you can and lift your tailbone towards the ceiling. And then press into your palms and away from the floor, like you're pressing back. Can you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, your lower back? Ooh, it feels so good. Now what I want you to do is you're gonna bring one knee in toward your chest and we're gonna go into a pigeon. So you're gonna bring one knee in, place it between your hands, uncurl your back foot and sit right on top of that. Now, if you roll over here to the side where you're on your hip, you're not gonna get the stretch. I need you to be right on top of it. Pigeon, it can be sort of uncomfortable at first, but it is a great way to stretch the outside of the gluteus medius and maximus, open up your hip, get your inner thigh. Oh, it's just a fabulous stretch. It can take some getting used to because for some people, like having their knee bent can be kind of hard, but work on it because it's a really good stretch. It's a really, really good stretch. Okay, ready? We're gonna go back and bring the other knee in. And you might have one side that feels more comfortable than the other. This side for me is more comfortable because this is my more flexible side. And if you feel like you need to work on flexibility, 
I have a playlist on my YouTube channel that has stretches on there. You can go do stretching workouts to just work on flexibility. In order to really increase your flexibility, you have to work on it pretty often, like daily. You don't have to do long stretching sessions daily, but after every workout stretch, or at the end of the day, just for even 10 minutes, go through some of those areas that are tight for you and stretch them. I like to at least once a week do a prolonged stretch where I sit in my stretches a little longer, I spend more time just working through my mobility, and it's made a big difference in my range of motion for my exercises. So, just a little fun fact there. Working on that flexibility will help. Okay, come to the middle. Let's put our feet together in the butterfly. And just think of your chest coming down as far as you can towards your feet. So if you're here, that's fine. I just don't want you to be here. I want that chest to be open. And this just open up the hips, get the inner thighs. And bring those feet together. We're gonna go ahead and stand. How do you feel? Okay. Open and close those arms. That was a lot of cardio, a lot of mobility, a lot of agility, just light and fast on our feet. I hope that you enjoyed that, that little core ending. Oh, whew, felt that in my core. But isn't it nice to have a day where you just kind of focus on your cardio, you go for your endurance, you just push yourself hard. I like those days. They're fun. I don't do them all the time, but I like them when I do them. All right, you guys are done for the day. Thank you so much for joining me. And you know, the one thing that I wanna encourage you in is when we do workouts like this, where they're kind of challenging and it definitely tests you in your endurance and sometimes tests you in your, your the strength of your legs where you're trying to do these jumps and your legs are on fire. But what I wanna say is don't give up because where you start is not gonna be where you finish if you stick with it. You're gonna get better, you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna get faster and you're gonna increase your endurance. When I first did a HIIT workout for the first time, I think I was in my 20s, it had just become popular, I had to stop about five minutes into it. Five minutes into it, and I was done. And I wanted to give up, like, I clearly can't do HIIT, like, I'm not in shape for this, I can't do it. And I actually didn't for a little while, because I was so embarrassed that <laughs> I was so bad at it. But, it sunk into me one day, I went, well, how do I ever get better at it if I don't keep doing it? same way was I wasn't going to get stronger lifting weights if I didn't keep lifting. And so I went back and did it and I made it seven minutes the second time. And my goal was just each time I did it to increase how many minutes I could do it. And little by little, I got better and those workouts got easier. So even things that feel hard in the beginning, that's okay. We all go through that stage, but keep showing up and keep trying to get just a little bit more than you did the time before and you're going to see progress. I promise you're going to see progress, but you have to be consistent. Every once in a while is not going to do it. You've got to show up. You've got to show up, be consistent, and push through the heart. Not to the point where you hurt yourself, but to the point where you're like, I'm trying to get to that next level. So thank you for joining me today, for purposely showing up for this workout, and now go intentionally choose your foods. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye. Very sweaty, friends. Very sweaty.